Fowler, Indiana, a classic Midwestern small town with lots of history. Two of its historic properties we'll be investigating tonight. First stop, the old Benton County Jail. This jail was built in 1876 out of limestone. It was used to house criminals overnight, short term, and long term. They even had a padded cell and a women's ward. And in the front, that's where the sheriff and his family lived, with just a wall separating him and his family from the inmates. In 1883, one well-known inmate was Jacob Neely, who brutally murdered a 15-year-old girl. Before he can get his time in court, a group of men stormed the jail, dragged him out of his cell, and hung him for the whole town to see. In 1969, former Sheriff Lawrence Weimkin told the paper there are eight old cells down there where people were chained to the walls until they either confessed or went crazy. Makes you wonder, what else happened in this jail that we don't know about? In 1997, a new structure was built, replacing the old jail. Good stuff or no? Well, the whole time I only got two words, deal and wolf. And then the motion sensor went off to white screen. Oh, really? Did you ask questions or was it just I like... I was asking questions here and there every couple of minutes. Yes or no with the... Yes and... Like yes and with... I asked if it's, if it's here for more than 30 days, it went green. But the first time it went off, I didn't even ask anything and it just went green. Okay. Which... The only thing I can think of is if it wasn't a question, and if it wasn't answering that question I did ask, it would have been like a guard or something, just kind of walking back and forth, checking the inmates. Right. But nothing really happened. Okay, cool. Hello, spirits. If there's anybody down here with me. My name is Emily. I would love to talk to you, or anybody that's down here. Oh my god, the flux just went off. So yes, hi, hello. That's really scary. <laughs> Hello, thank you. What color jumpsuit did you wear while you were here? I can't, I can't tell if there's like noise down here or if it's upstairs and it's the boys. If that's you down here, can you come over by me please? Make some noises over here. I'm kind of stuck in this corner, but thank you. Oh my God, the flux just went off. Thank you so much. Here, um, here, let me turn this off, okay? I heard like a little tick, like a house sound noise. I'm not too sure if that was whoever's with me right now or if that was the boys or the house just settling. That was cool. What happened? The flux went off like three times. Green or red? Green, all green. Cool. But it sounded like a noise like was happening while I was doing spirit box, and I thought it was like you guys or something. And I was, and I said, I was like, is that you making noise? Can you like come over here and make some noise? And then like a few seconds later, the flux went green. The police going by. Ironically, we are in the sheriff's house right now, second floor section of it, the old Benton County Jail. What did you do in your free time? Heard something. Whoa. Somebody just said my name. Zach? 
Did you say my name? Can you knock on one of the doors up here? I just heard a paint chip crunch right next to me. I don't know if maybe a paint chip fell, but I definitely heard like a crunch or something. I could have sworn I just heard a, a, a small knock in a door over here. There's a closet door that I'm looking at right now that I think I just heard a knock on. Sort of noise back there by the camera, where you guys are at right now. By you guys, I mean the viewers. The camera might have picked it up, I'm not too sure. How'd it go? It went good. I got I did this for a little bit, got some responses through this, and uh, I think I heard a couple noises up here as well. Um, mm -hmm. I asked it to knock, and I heard like a, like a, like from that room over there. Was it up here? Because downstairs... No, it was up here for sure. It was okay. up here for sure. It I made a noise downstairs. Door. I was like, son of a bitch. I was like, fuck. No, it was that closet door. It was really quiet, really quiet. It was like... Ooh. And I asked it to knock, too. So I was like... Oh. Uh-huh. Hey. That was a nice thing. These beds don't seem like they were very comfy. How long were you in here for? Probably oh, about 11 maybe? Oh, I just went up green. Hi! I just went up green. Is there anybody here with us? If you're the guest of honor, we just need to know your name. It actually sounded like it just said Zach. Like a female voice. Your name's Zach. What do you want? We're just here trying to help. Did you spend more than 30 days here? No. Oh, wow. That was clear as day. So you were here for maybe just a day? I love you? I heard that clear as day. Who do you love? Open up. What do you want open? Do you think what you did was good, but you're still put in here anyways? Yeah. Uh, just let up great what you ask. Uh, do you think what you did was good, but you're still in here anyways? Oh, man. I was I was gonna say let's go into the other side real quick. Do that side, cause the other side is where the guy got dragged out. Dragged out for what? He killed a 15 year old girl. Oh, he got and dragged out. Somebody like people broke in, dragged him out and lynched him. Oh wow. Yeah. You sitting there? I'm gonna sit Sorry. Sorry. What? Whatever. Whatever. Why? Sorry for what? Did you murder that young girl? Is that what you're sorry Bruce? 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 Who's Bruce? Is Bruce your name? Go away. Are you telling us to go away? It was really quiet. Really, really quiet. But it said... No, I want out. It's really quiet. Ready? Sounded like a female voice. Did you hurt people? Did somebody hurt you? Too late? What's too late? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? No, it wasn't. It sounded like it was from another 
Was that you that just made that noise? Wait, you just said, can you hear me that noise? Yeah. Yeah, we can hear you. That was you that just made that bang? Is Jacob here? Are you stuck here eternally as a reminder for your crimes? Just want to bring you. Huh? Um. Do you think you did something wrong? I like an old man voice said hello. Hello. Who are we Where's Jake? He's okay, right? Yeah. Oh. Is it the sheriff's house? Yeah, the sheriff would live here with his family. Okay. Well, sheriff! I think I heard people. <laughs> I heard Highway to the Danger Zone. Yeah, it did say something before it that, did. though. For people, maybe. Because I don't want to say that it's are evil, but... Yeah, people, possibly. Yeah. It did it yes. It yes. sounded very faint, but yes. I don't like that. You don't like what? Zone. Home. Sheriff, we understand you're home, but there's a problem in the cells. We need your help. They're dragging one of the prisoners out of their cells. Please? Yes, can you please? Can you please help us? No more, I think I heard. No more what? Energy? Yeah, use your energy to talk with us. No way. Only rise. Who are you telling the rise? They just lit up red. Here? Yeah, I I mean I stepped over it, but it, it just lit up red, like after I had stepped over it. Good morning. Good morning. Good night. <laughs> it's night time. It's not morning. It's not morning. Were you hey. just, what was that? Did you hear that? Jake. What? What? Did you hear the, the footsteps? That sounded like Jake moving. The footsteps I heard was definitely not Jake. After reviewing the footage, you can tell that he didn't even move. Emily was directly in the room to the right of Jake and wasn't moving either, and she would have told me that she was moving. I heard the footsteps to the left of me, and I was to the left of the camera. Unfortunately, I can't prove to you that I wasn't moving. However, I wasn't. These footsteps were clear as day, and honestly, after reviewing them several times over, send shivers down my spine. Let's listen to them one more time. Stop morning. I yeah, shifted like that. It sounded like a crack. Right. See, I heard it's my directed to my left. I'll, when I review the footage, I'll I'll check to make sure. Where? Yeah, I'll just so check. So, what sure. are we doing now? Uh, we're gonna go in the basement. Are you happy I brought more people down here to talk to you? Stay. 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 You want us to stay? Yep. We got green. Just yep. let up green on the ground when flux. Are you in confinement? Flux just let up green. Response to Jake's thing. Who's that? Who's that? Oh, that's really weird. That wasn't from the spirit box. It was, it was, it was like, a, that wasn't your phone, right? There was like static coming through, but there was like a different layer of static like. Yeah, I heard that and static. I was my phone, the last thing I got was eight minutes ago. But it was like a, yeah, it was like a, almost like someone hit the pipe or something like that, and yeah. it like vibrated through. Yeah, that was weird. Emily's not even close to a pipe or anything like that. It's time for us to move on to our second location tonight, the Fowler Theater.
The Fowler Theater was built in 1940, right on top of the grounds of an old hotel. The theater's beautiful Art Deco design is what keeps people coming back time and time again. But in the 1990s, the theater fell into disrepair and closed in early 2001 to be left abandoned. News of the old theater spread and rumors of it being haunted sparked. A non-profit group hopped on the project and started to restore the building. They got it reopened by December of 2001. It was then that they started doing paranormal investigations and learned that the rumors of ghosts walking the aisles of this old theater weren't just rumors. It's believed to be haunted by two people from its history, the spirit of the original founder of the theater, Dick, and the spirit of a manager who committed suicide. That manager was absolutely in love with the Fowler Theater and loved being there at all times. This is why people believe he is still wandering the theater, especially since he ended his life before he could fully live it. Yep. Hello? Hello? How are you? It sounded like the same voice, but Jake didn't say anything about it, so not too sure. Camera? Camera, yeah, we're filming right now. It's like a movie camera almost. We just want to get to know you a little bit. Heard skies. For my end, it sounded like thanks, guys. He said skies. That was like a female. I heard what's your and then I didn't hear anything after that. That was like a female voice too, it sounded like. My eyes. Your eyes. Something happened to your eyes? Or was something really bad in the movie that you didn't like? Walking, I think I heard. Walking. Can you walk in here? Turn on one of the motion sensor lights for us? There's two ends of this this hallway. Just walk in one of them and the motion sensor light will turn on. Why? I don't know. Be cool to see them turn on by themselves, or have you turn them on. Um, if you go up, and you know where the projector was, there's that always. door. Always. They always know where the projector is. Move. Move. Which one of one? Which one of us do you want it to move? Yes. Yes. He said I'm already moving, and he said yes. Go up there. Turn your GoPro back on. Turn the light switch as soon as you walk into the room. Go past the projector, go on that door, and you can walk out onto that balcony. Yeah. Will you? Will you? Sure. Turn your GoPro on when you go. Control. Control? You gonna control the movie? We heard this was Danny's favorite place to be. Is Danny here right now? Are we all in frame right now? Oh yeah. I'm in frame? Oh yes. Oh yeah. Are you here, Danny? Ready? Is that you, Danny? If you go up to this little triangle pyramid thing on the ground, you can make it light up green and red. You can do a little show on that. Makes different tones and volumes, sounds. Make a little song that way. Wait for more. Wait for more. You haven't seen anything yet. Sounds kind of like it's that sing. Sing? Do you used to sing here at the theater too? Would you want to come down and take a seat? There's a bunch of empty seats. You can sit next to me. No. Wow. You don't want to sit next to me? Be quiet. Be quiet. Who are you talking there? Yeah. Were your friends being noisy?
That response was so loud that you can hear it directly through the headphones. However, we don't believe that this is a spirit telling us to be quiet, but it's residual energy telling someone and it's time to be quiet. Let's listen to it one more time. Be quiet. Be quiet. We love. We love. What do you love? There was like a female and a male. It felt like they almost had a conversation there. No clue what they said though. Would you like to let us know what you were talking about? Are we going to stop? Keep going right there. Is the theater changed much over the years on you? No. I just lit up red. There you go. Right there? Like you said, right there, right? Yeah. That's good. Can you, can you uh, tell me your name? Like you say, who, me or Danny? Are you speaking with Danny right now? Or Dick? Dick. Did you hear that? What are you doing here, Dick? Big, large? You asking for a large popcorn? So what do you think of the two locations? Uh, both locations together I think are a very interesting pair. Um, I, I like the combo of the theater and the jail. It's two kind of opposite ended spectrum locations, but you still got activity nonetheless and you both get a good time. Here, I feel at home because it's functional. It's a functional theater it doesn't really creep me out too much like I can go in any of these rooms alone. The jail was a little eerie at times. It had some weird vibes to it. When I did my solo it was kind of like all that was on my mind was like wow these jail cells could really just slam at any second and I'm just in here. Would you ever come back to either of these places? Definitely yeah. I'd like to do the jail again if, the, if it's possible because the jail was really cool. Most definitely. I'm always down to come back to see if there's anything different um kind of debunk stuff if there's anything that needs to, or just see what different things we can catch.